Hey y'all, so in today's video, we are going to be doing a little bit something different, but like, I'm gonna basically be teaching you guys like how to take aesthetic notes on Notion again. If you already know that I've already used Notion and I gave you guys like a little bit of a tour, I changed it up a little bit, but it's gonna be like the same idea, I guess. All right, enough of that. Let's head over to my laptop. All right, welcome back to my laptop. And as you can see, my Notion is completely updated. Well, not completely. I still have like the academics, but I added a couple more, you know, pages into my Notion. So right here, we're just gonna be focusing on academics because this is basically just taking notes but i just want to show you guys quickly how i organized it so basically i um added a block which was it was a gallery view let me just keep scrolling so if you do gallery inline it can get you to like a view like this you can always change the view but right now so if you change it to board view it'll look a little something like this but i don't like the aesthetic of that so i usually just keep it a gallery view so right here, I just have all my classes that I'm taking this year for semester two, at least, because um, I already dropped one of my semester one classes and kind of deleted the whole page. I probably shouldn't have done that because there's some really important information on there. Actually, I didn't delete it, but whatever. So anyway, right here we have like the gallery and then right here I added a timeline for like events that are coming up like right over here I have a bio test on Friday which is today but and then and then I have spring break on starting April 19th and then the last day of the quarter was April 8th and then what usually I'll have is like a study playlist and um, a nice aesthetic picture so you basically want to have all these things including all your classes right now I have all my classes right here I have a timeline for things I need to add and then I have a study playlist and that kind of stuff and your study playlist can be like a YouTube video it can yeah your study playlist can be anything it doesn't have to be from like Spotify directly right now I'm going to be using one of my classes as a sample and I'm probably gonna do like the class that I have like most notes in, which is world history. So right here we have our class and everything. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna create one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections, including when it was created, semester, if it's full year, semester one or semester two, the number of credits you have in the class, class number, teacher, schedule, and if you have a Google Classroom then you just go to that Google Classroom. And what usually I'll have right here is like a picture of like what it's supposed to look like on the gallery. On the right side, we have all my notes that I have taken so far. And then right here we have upcoming assignments and projects and basically stuff like that. Um, I haven't really filled it in that much because I've been lazy lately, but fill it in according to what works for you. So what you want to do is you want to have semester as like a select menu so you can click and then you can make like three options like right here, full year, semester one, semester two, and then the credits you want to have as a number so you can go through and um, click how many credits that it's worth. Full year credits for me are like five credits and then um, classes that are only one semester are 2.5. And then the class right here you want to have as a select number so you can have like seven right here and i have like seven options so this is class number seven of my day and then the teacher just have your teacher right there as a select option your schedule it should be a text option so you can write down seventh block and then your google classroom should be a link option and then to add an image, you click on here. And then you scroll all the way down to image right here. And then you can add accordingly. So I'm just going to delete that block. And then right here are just pages of all my notes. 
And then right here is a table in line of my upcoming assignments and projects. Now don't worry, all that is completely done. Now we are going to be getting to the notes part. I'm kind of excited for that. So right here is where I have the most notes. So I'm just gonna click World War One, And it should bring you to a page with all your notes. You can add an icon right here. And then this is the area where you take all your notes. So my notes aren't the best, but I always try to make it as, as aesthetic and bold as possible, you could say. So right here, I just have all my notes. I know it's pretty long, blah, blah, blah. Um, to make it more organized, what you can do. So right here, if you want to highlight something, so say I want to highlight this, you go to the six dots right there and then you click color. And you can have the text color or the background color. So I'll just do background as gray. So now your background has changed to gray. If I want to change it back, you go to color and then you click default and it'll change back. Now, I usually use the colors to bold like vocabulary or like other stuff. Or if it's like an important keyword that you may need to use, then I will usually highlight that. Now, if you want to make your notes like more, a little more organized and stuff like that, you can make it into a drop down menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn into a toggle list. So now everything right here, it's underneath right there and it's more organized. So what you're going to do is you're just going to do that to every single one. And it has to be like under bullets, by the way. So if it isn't under bullets, then you can't turn it into a toggle list. So I'm going to turn it into a toggle list. I am going to turn this into a toggle list. And then you just keep going until you have all the toggle lists that you need. Actually, this shouldn't be a toggle list. Turn into not to do list. Don't do that. Turn into bulleted list. And turn militarism into since there is no there's an empty toggle you want to take this and you want to drag it inside and boom and I should probably be moving militarism right there so that's how you do it and I'm just gonna continue on until I have everything I need so I completely finished the toggle list that I did which include right here causes of World War one which is main or whatever that is um i have another section the immediate cause i have a couple facts right here and then i have the questions for the rest of the notes that i did so basically what i did is i turned my notes into a couple questions and i made a toggle list and just put the answer underneath in case i ever need to study for like a test or something which i don't think is gonna happen because i haven't had world history all week and we are watching a documentary so anyway here's an example who demanded freedom of the seas that led to germany's rejection president woodrow woodrow wilson <laughs> so these are my notes they aren't the most aesthetic but if you want to make it a little bit more aesthetic then here are some tips so if you go right here and you click you click the plus button you can and then you scroll down to divider. You can add a divider right here that divides whatever is in here. But if you want to add a little bit more of a colorful divider, so you can delete that. And you're gonna click. And then I'm just gonna move over right here for a second. And then you can click that. You have to have it as a text and click color. And then choose whatever background color you want. So I'm just going to choose pink. And boom. That doesn't really look like a pink though. But anyway, you can make your notes more aesthetically pleasing. And I'm just going to highlight a couple things. So right here, if you want to highlight again, you go there. And you can change the color right here, actually. So I'm just going to change it to pink for now. And boom, there you have it. So 
I usually just take the notes before I, well, while I'm in class, while I'm taking the notes, I take the notes like normally, kind of like how this is formatted. And then once I'm done with the notes, I will usually make it into a toggle list just to make it more, I have more time when I'm at home though. So, and I usually will highlight when I'm at school and yeah, that's pretty much all the information you need to know. Now we're gonna head back to my camera. While I'm at it, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick life update. So next week is April break. I'm excited for that, or spring break rather. I know a, a, a lot of people actually had spring break before, but like I just have it this week. And I got cast in a play, guys. I did. So it's a consist, I mean, not consistency. It's a bunch of eight, um, short 10 minute short plays combined into one there will be two acts so act one will be the first four plays and then act two will be the last four plays so mine isn't really a 10 minute one though it's like a six minute one mine's like the shortest one out of the all of, one, all of them Ugh. but it's something right so um i basically had my first rehearsal already it went pretty well and now i have to study my lines because yeah, because the next time we get back is after April break, and I have to have my line memorized by then, but that shouldn't be too hard. Anyway, thank y'all for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye!